Alright, is this working? Hey, can you guys hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh, nice. Okay, Jesus. So, still new to this. this is my second Twitch. So, had a little bit of an issue there. Had a sound. We have. Uh, we were trying to connect to the Discord members, uh, so we were actually doing a live session in our Discord. And uh, I do have. I'm at a rental house with a uh, a house full of small children right now and a dog. So don't judge me. Okay. So, hold on. All right, so let's take a look at what just happened here. So we have a, I'm going to take us down to a four hour chart right here. So we've been looking for this bounce. This was a crazy, crazy bounce right here. We, uh, we had one of our members, Nick. Nick did a great job calling this out this morning. So here's what we're seeing. This is the ABC all right this is the ABC we had and if you take a look this is what this looks like look at this so this seems to be a, a really popular recurring theme right now so we get this retracement these 90 80 90 percent retracement right here on these uh, these these waves where this is just absolutely crazy so let me Seriously, don't get married, don't have kids until you're like 90. In fact, wives are more expensive than girlfriends. Don't judge me. All right, so here we got an ABC coming up. This is what this looks like, what we're running into. This clearly looks like a uh, five wave. One, two, three, four, coming up into a five right there. All right. So this looks like a pretty good pattern. Now, this is what I am worried about at this point. Let me kind of show you guys what a recurring pattern we have right here. Something we've been doing over and over, and sorry for the dirty chart. Let me clear this. I actually have a brand new chart open. Where is that thing? I have a clean chart I had open. Where did it go? I have a clean chart just so I can do this. Hmm. Not that one. There we go. There we go. So let's use this chart right here. This will be help us out. Hmm. So one thing you see is we have a. So what'll happen here is we'll kind of go up. It looks like an A, a B, and then a C, and it falls out shallow. This seems to happen a lot here where we think we're going to make the a higher high. Here we did have, looks like an ABC, pretty good one. And then let's zoom in a little bit here. We're going to go down to a, uh, let's take this down to like a four hour time frame. So this seems to be, a, 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 so here we had this where they just fell out. It was a truncated C on this ABC wave here. So we are looking for one of two possibilities coming in. I mean, we came really deep. Either this is going to end early or this could continue up to the, uh, the head up right there to our uh, kryptonite zone. So super possible head up to the kryptonite zone. That's something we are looking for as a possibility. If you go down and we're looking at the RSI charts on the... Let's see where we've got an RSI chart here. I mean, look at some of these. Look at that. Oh! Money! Look at that. Look at that. Woohoo! God, I love being right. God, I love being right. Look at that right there. Haven't moved it. Been there forever. Hit my target. God, that's nice. Ah, that's nice. 
So remember I was talking about this a while ago. I was looking for this to copy exactly. I, I Just the first time I've been looking at this damn thing. This is awesome. So if you look over here, when we trace down this uh, one, two, three, four, five, you see we came all the way down. We came up, we busted out of the, uh, the wedge line here, the trend line. We came up out of the trend line. We hit the top right here. Now this, if you look really close, if we dig in here really, really closely, Did we break, see we kind of truncated, so this, this wave came up and it truncated <clears throat> before it dropped back out. And I would like to see if something similar, I was actually thinking we break the line over here. See here, this is different, this changed, that was clearly an ABC. So here we touch down to a lower low and we talked about this on our Twitch channel last night. Uh, one of the things we'll show you is the correlation between where the RSI is right now and the price action is. We are actually higher on the RSI and here at this point right here our price was lower than here and our RSI was higher. So this ran a very radical pattern to get up to here. Now, I was expecting this, and if this were a true ABC, we would see a A, B, C like that. So that's kind of something I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of expecting this to break over. I would like to see this break a little bit over. But remember, you guys have to remember on the RSI charts, it's the weirdest thing. You can break over this line. So you could substantially break over this line right here. And it'll 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 go up. And then the line will actually kick back over. But it'll wherever the break point is, so let's say the break point was right in here. When the line shows, it'll actually so I'm gonna delete this. So after even though it runs up over. Come on, get out of there. Even though it runs back up and over, it'll still it'll still look like this when it gets done. Right? Even if that line runs up here, when it folds over, it's the weirdest thing. I mean, I, I, you can see these you can see these these uh, price actions when they're going up and especially the MACD if you're watching the MACD real real closely. You'll see it poke all the way down to bottom sometime. It'll hit zero. It'll bounce off the zero. It'll touch the zero. It'll bounce off the zero. It'll touch the zero again. And it's really weird, weird watching that. And then when the price action changes at the bottom on the MACD or the RSI, it'll never actually have touched the zero on the follow-through line uh, for the historical data. So this is great. So we came back up. I actually feel a little vindication. I thought my chart was had gone to crap. So that's good. Um, let's go. Let's go up to, and I wanted to show you guys just a really quick thing. So let's get this out of here. So here we are. So we have our price action on the, on our RSI right here. So we have our price action on our RSI that came back up. And here is what is really kind of weird is our low for the RSI, sorry, let me get this down here like this. So this was our low for our RSI. So if you look at this, this is kind of how this, isn't that weird? That's just, you know, that is, that is some, so you see you got your low here. This is our lowest low but our price action was at uh, 61 and change. And then we came all the way up and we only went up to uh, 6,800. Then we came down and we are still having, we created a lower low on the price, but we created a higher low on the RSI. And then now we did the retrace. Now look at this, take a look at this real quick. Let me clean this up real quick. And 
this is one thing I just want to point out is how the differential is. So look at the price action right here. You have a 10 point price climb right there. But in reality, you only had a and yeah, the 6215 you wanted just came. What's that? Oh, no, look, see, you guys are online. I can't hear you guys in Discord. What? I can't hear the it, Discord it down guys. It Oh, okay. I, I, I kind of heard it, but that was an order. So, so what you've got is you've got a very limited price action here, and you've got a massive run up in the RSI here. So this is a huge divergence of the RSI running up with very little price action. Now, if you would, if you look at this, you would think the RSI runs from here to here. We should just, we should definitely have a higher run up. So, something I'm really keeping an eye on. I'm watching this RSI level. So, all right. So, take a look at this. Look at our RSI. We were just touching that. Now we're down below it again. See how these lines can move? It's pretty crazy. Gotta love kids. Gotta love kids. All right, so anyways, we come up, and there we are there. So it looks like we're just bouncing off of that four wave right there. So we're clearly bouncing off the four wave right there. So we're trying to get to it. And if you go over to our charts, let's take a look. Let's see where we're at. Man, look at that thing. Just uh, and I gotta tell you what the RSI. Let, let's let's take a peek at this real quick. I wanted to bring this RSI chart up. Where was I just at here? Man, this RSI level was out of control. We had just the craziest bounce ever. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna shrink this down, and I'm gonna show you how insane this RSI run was. We're gonna pull this down to 30 minute. <laughs> look at that thing. Look at that RSI run. That thing is just crazy. That thing is pretty damn crazy. And, you know, we're taking a big, you know, we're flopping over, but we don't see the price action really flopping over to accommodate that. So I'm looking at this same pattern over here. If you want to take a look at the pattern over here, here's where we had the RSI run up and out of this. We had the RSI run up and out. But if you look up here, our price action came up. And the way our price action was is... We came up, kind of stuttered along, stuttered along, stuttered along, and it finally fell out from the bottom. All right. Yes, I do have a house full of kids right now. My daughter has all her friends over. It is summertime. Lesson learned. Lord. <laughs> lesson. My wife is telling me lesson learned to, to twitch while uh, everybody's home. I just wanted to get on while we had this massive price action and talk to everybody real quick. So here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this to repeat this same recurring theme. We had this massive run up. We had the massive run up here. I'm looking for us to possibly top out up here at 60. If we can get up to 6,400, we can get up to 6,400. If not, I am looking for this to be a, a pretty crazy. Here we go. Let's pull this down here. Let's pull this here, there, there, and there. So here's our kryptonite zone. Our kryptonite zone, once again, is 6440, 6450. Lots of resistance up there at that level. So we have a ton of resistance up at the level. Yeah, we made a great run up. Let me get this off here. So we made a really nice bounce up, resetting our indicators. And I am expecting a dropout. And anywhere in this zone up here, I really would like to see one last peak up. I did start, so I, I was in a short trade. My short trade did get stomped out. I was positive. I was actually positive 20% down here, 20, 21%. I got stomped out at about 9%. And actually, I got stomped out at 15%. And I am looking for... Something either up in here or we could legitimately fall out right here and this thing could just tank. 
<laughs> and we couldn't get there, and this would end up being a some kind of a truncated C. So here's kind of the play I'm making right now. I am loading my shorts. I'm loading shorts. I just pulled a short position here. I So I'm in right there already, and I'll share that on Twitter. I will then be looking to add another short position here right over. So I want to be right on top of this. So if we do run up and run a flat, so if this runs up to be a flat, I know I can catch it right up here at the top. And then if we run up to be a real C, I'm also looking for this to run here up to the top here. And I would like to be right below this, uh, I'd like to be right below my, uh, so this the yellow line is actually pretty good. I wanna be right below the 6450 so I could catch that because there's so much confluence up here. Look at all of the, the resistance that's up there. I wanna catch some good shorts right here. And I am going to set my stop losses. Let's throw a horizontal line. So let's look for a lot of support. So there's a lot of support right there on that line right there. All right, it would be resistance in this case. And then I would be looking for a second. Let's see what we can find right here. This area looks pretty heavy duty right here. And I would like to, there we go, let's move that down to there. And then probably have the top of my shorts right in here with my stop loss set up above this line somewhere. So I'd probably start laddering out my stops, uh, laddering out my short positions right here. This is a pretty good run. So. Now, when I go into this, I'm going to be, so, 10%, right? Let's clone this, 10%, 10%, clone, and then we're going to go to, I would do 25 or 50, depending on the price action right here. And that's kind of how I would ladder into this short position maybe do this at 25 and a peak over the kryptonite zone another 25 so you're never going to be fully into your position you would actually be in a short right now and if you want to hedge a small very short scalping position you can also do that um and then let's take a look at our laddering out so kind of the same thing applies for laddering out so same thing when we're laddering out of the position. Let me change the color of this. Let's change it to white or actually red because we'll ladder out of it. That's harder to see. That didn't help. So we would start laddering out of this position here, here, and then we would get totally stomped out of this trade right up here. So I, a lot of people are calling for a reversal right now. A lot of people are saying that that's the bottom, that the bottom is in. I just don't feel that. I don't feel the bottom is in. I feel we still got a little bit ways more to go. So this is, once again, this is kind of a risky trade right here. That's why I would regular it probably, let's go, let's reduce this down to 25. This is kind of a risky trade because C waves are an impulsive five wave. So you've got the impulsive five wave that's going one, two, three, four, and you can totally get up there. So there we go. That's, uh, that's what I'm looking for. So I want to show you one more chart and why I think that, uh, why I think this is completely possible. And let's go to... Let's go to, let's give me a big chart. We need a day. One day chart. And okay. So, all right. So here's something that is very, so we came down, we came right down here and we touched right to the bottom here. And this was our bottom, and people are wondering, how did we call that bottom so easy? 
And the reason we call that bottom is because this bottom had all this historical support right here. So if you look close in here, if we zoom into this line right here, where's my empty chart? Where's there? Is this? Can I use this one? So. So I'm going to snap a line across this. Bingo. All right. So if you look at the historical support right there, let's zoom in on this little area. So this is how I was able to call the bottom. So look here, you got resistance, 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 came down, bounced off, came up, support, support perfect, support on the body, resistance, came up, support on the body, support on the body, broke through. So I was really expecting the opposite to happen over here. This is why I was calling for a bounce higher. Uh, if you look at my previous charts, I was calling for the bounce up to 6,400, 6,500, and it looks like it will happen. Now, did I expect it to happen like this? No, I didn't expect it to happen like this. I expected us to go. We, we should have gone higher uh, from higher up. I did not expect the weakness to dump all the way down like that. So look, if you look here and you can see it, how we usually do it, see you go up, come down, trace, retrace a good percentage and up. Here, same thing, up, read down, come down, you retrace a uh, pretty decent percentage. This thing just retraced insane. That was a pretty crazy retrace right there. So that shows a lot of weakness right there and the bulls are fighting their way up. One of the things we've been hearing in the news is a lot of people are talking about how that uh, there was a really good article how the exchanges are defending this range. And I, I look at it as this range right here also has there's a lot of there's a lot of support, a lot of resistance in this range. It's not going to be easy to get through it. And I literally look at this as a mirror image. You come up, bounce, bounce, bounce punch through, come down, bounce, 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 punch through. I see this happening the same way. A lot of people are saying that this is the bottom. We're going to turn around and take off. Is it possible? Yeah, it's possible. I, I, I totally believe it's possible. But at this point, I feel that people might be true, might be what they've been saying about the exchanges defending this position, dumping their own money in, you know, with the tether pumps that are coming uh, that they're really defending this. Uh, some of the theories that are going around is that they're defending the liquidity of the exchanges themselves. So you got to remember these exchanges are sitting on massive piles of, of Bitcoin and they're also sitting on their own coins, uh, especially Binance with BNB, which is an amazing product. I want you guys all to know I am a firm believer in the BNB coin. So that is a, it's going to be a, of, of all the coins that's out there, that's one of my favorite coins. Um, but what I'm looking for is a rehashing of this followed by a breakthrough. So now let's just one last thing before I get off the channel right here is this is the area we have to be concerned about. This is a technical pivot point for a bottom. Here's a second technical pivot point for a bottom. And if you look at my calls lately, this area is the area that scares me right here. If we were to fall down into this area, you will see one massive candle from here to here. Because look, there is nothing. There's just no support. There's nothing. There's no support over on the other side over here. So we've really coming down to 5,400, which fingers crossed this is one of my bottoms it's on my chart over here let's pull this baby up let's jump up to the 12 hour so i would personally like to see us get a really nice bounce out of this this area right here so 5400 5600 5500 this is where i'd like to see a really strong bounce come off of there is a lot of support in that area. This would give me a really good, this would end 
Uh, this would put us at a really good low, give us a nice moon bounce off here, maybe get us back up to 7,700, back up into this confluence zone here, and then see where we go from there. So remember, let's not be bullish or bearish about this. Let's just make money, right? It's not about what direction this is going in. This is about making money. This is about making the calls, you know, making those 1,000-point swings, the 500-point swings to make the money on. So for me, that would work best. That's what I feel I would personally profit and or our members would personally profit on. So that's what we're really looking for. We'd like to see it down, bounce, bounce off. That would be really good. And or the even better version would be the bounce and then get a nice shot. Get a really nice shot up into the 8,000 area right there. Oh, I delete that one. And that would give us a, this would give us a really nice moon. We would all make a ton of money on this. And I, I really am looking for this kind of an action. I, I'm not excited about this kind of an action. Bitcoin going down sub 4,000 is bad for everybody. It's bad for crypto. It's bad for the long-term health of everything like that. So yeah, let's go take a look at our TDs. That's a great thing. So let's pull up an indicator here. Let's do a TD thing real quick. All right. So let's clear this off. Clear this off. Let's see where we're sitting at today. Okay, so that is not good. We did not want to start a brand new daily candle over. It is not good for us. Uh, we wanted to finish this. We would like to finish this out as a, a damn red nine. Let's go to the three day. The three day is really called the bottom beautifully. So here we have where the three day did an amazing job calling this bottom. Let me get a ray over here. So three day money, three day money, and we would like to see a another nine. Now, nine was at the bottom. Nine was very nearly at the bottom. This red eight up here is not good. We need to see a nine. I mean, we'd like to see a nine. Even if it wicks down, just give us that sweet wick down to 57, 5400, and then let's take off. Right? But it's something we all should be looking for. Um, I do have target dates. Uh, we have some amazing charts that we've been doing and putting together in our members area and in our uh, subscribers area. Uh, we have been doing a lot of really good voice chats. So we go on at least once, twice a day. <coughs> We're doing voice chats with all the members. We're posting charts, uh, just talking about all the stuff. So we do have time schedules for the bounces set up. We do have some, some pretty good ideas of the directions. We did call a pretty a couple pretty mean calls today. My uh, partner until one mil. Go check him out on Twitter. Check out his Twitch. He's been crushing it. The guy called us some really mean calls today. Uh, he has an amazing indicator that's super easy to use. Um, listen, let's stay safe. Let's set our stop limits, everybody. Let's do some good trading. Uh, most importantly, the only lesson I'm going to leave with today is just one more time. I'm gonna I'm gonna rehash this. So please, when you're trading 10, 10, 25, or 10, 10, 10, 25. The other thing is uh, 10, uh, sorry, 10, 25, 50. So these should be the entry and exits when you're going into and out of trades. On a very risky trade, you're putting in 10, 10, 10, 25. On a more of a trade you feel a lot safer on, like right here, this this trade right here, when you hit the green nine, if you're watching your TD on the on the uh, three day, and you were trading this position right here, this would have been a, a, just a goal, and you would have been watching this eight run up, you would have been adding ten percent, ten percent, twenty five percent up here. When it hit onto the red nine, you would have just been laddering into this red nine, and then it would have fallen out, and you would have had the most amazing short position ever. There would have never been any reason to long into this particular spot right here. This would have been the worst place to long 
ever. Ever. The worst place to long ever. Okay? So, got a lot of volatility here. We do have our red 8. We need to close this red 8 out as a red 8. We do not want this to flip to a green. If this flips to a green 1, it will be bad. Okay? Look at the chart. The three days called the bottoms perfectly. Let's have it happen one more time. All right, safe trading, everybody. If you don't know, uh, if you guys haven't had a chance, uh, add me on Twitter. If you guys are doing good, making any call, any money on my calls, please give me a shout out. And thank you all very much. Have a good day.